Test. Ah, there I am. Good evening and welcome to Hermit's Jazz Club. We are going to start with a tune by one of my favorite composers, Tad Dameron. It's a song called Lady Bird.
Well, thank you very much. As I said, that was a composition by Tad Dameron called Lady Bird. Here's a ballad by Rogers and Hart. It's a song that Rob wanted to do. It's called You Are Too Beautiful. And of course, David Emery was featured in that first song as well. Um, 
we're, I think we're going to play another song. The program worked out. I, I have another Tad Dameron composition, and it's called it's uh, called Casba, and uh, it's it's a contrafact, and a contrafact is is a new melody on top of uh, chords already written to a standard. For example, this song, the melody, is based on the standard out of nowhere. And um, that was quite uh, quite frequently done in the sort of that bebop era where they would uh, play a, an interesting melodic line over changes that are already established uh, for a standard. And as I said, this standard is out of nowhere. Here's Tad Dameron's Casba.
Here's a composition by Mark Lewis, and I'm sure some of you know Mark Lewis or remember him from previous gigs here at Herman's. And um, I'm trying to trying to bring him up maybe this summer at some point. But he uh, wrote a, a trilogy of waltzes, which he calls Amy. And um, we're going to play Amy number three by Mark Lewis.
Mark, Mark Lewis is quite a, quite a musician. He's legally blind and um, just a wonderful alto player as well as a flautist. Well, he's uh, just an amazing flautist, but uh, he's written, oh, he must, close to a thousand compositions. He's very prolific as a writer, but, and a super nice guy. And he, that was his Amos, Amy Three. N next, on next composition <laughs> is one that uh, another one that Rob wanted to do. It's from 1930. I didn't even know he did know knew the tunes, <laughs> but um, but it is uh, it's a fun tune to play. And he heard it on a Don Thompson Ed Bickard album. It's called "Walking My Baby Back Home." Thank you. 
Rob Johnson, walking my baby back home. As you know, we do the first set for about an hour, and then we take a short break, and then we open it up to people who would like to sit in. And uh, come talk to you, right? Or yeah, let them know to come talk to you. To yes, yes. Well, I've talked to most of them. So anyway, here we go with, uh, strangely enough, another Tad Dameron composition. That's probably one of his best known ballads, and it's. Uh, I think Sarah Vaughan had a, a lovely recording of this, and it's called If You Could See Me Now.
We're going to play a blues by, written by John Coltrane um, from the 70s. It's called Bass Blues. Shots or is it just straight?
Yeah, we're just going to take a five-minute break, and then we'll uh, have some people sitting in. So we shall see you in a few minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you.
find a spot. Yeah, I already set up the amp. Oh, you're already set up. Yeah, I came here from like uh, from before. Uh, okay, so we should. If that's the case, just sit down then with yeah. you. Can we bring the guitar amp to like right here? Uh, it's like just under the piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah my amp is just right over there. I'm just over with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay, cool, cool. And then the other, the other guys will probably sit up here or whatever, or guitars. I'll order a pair of toms. Great playing, by the way. Oh, thanks, man. Really amazing. Oh, sweet, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell you're into uh, Don Thompson. I love Don Thompson. Yeah. I'm on a Don Thompson oh, kind yeah. of revival right now, man. My favorite from him was the Two Hall Trio. Oh, from I know. Live 1975. Yes. I forgot exactly. who was the drummer in it, but yeah, that yeah, was yeah. really good. No, I think like I, I, mean, I always love his playing, but I kind of done a deep dive into it recently. Some position and stuff. No, you did more than just playing the bass. Oh, good. You got all those lines. But it's tricky. It's tricky. Yeah. No kidding. He it kills your thumb, like unless you're dedicated to like learning it and putting. I've been playing a month. Like I mean, I play a thumb position, but not like he does. Well, look at Nell. I know. Exactly. <laughs> that, exactly. That's another oh, one. Know, a whole different level. And, and also, <laughs> and, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, all those guys are like, they're super incredible. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. So, like, we're working for them. Yeah, no kidding. For sure. Sweet. So, yeah, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring the amp up for you, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I know you, you did have it set up, but it wouldn't work back here because it'll reverb into my face. Yeah, yeah. It just won't work, so. Yeah, definitely. That's okay. Uh, just gotta find a plug-in for you, right? Are you living here? I just moved here no, two wait. weeks ago from Ottawa. All right, man. Sick. Yeah. I'm from Toronto, so. That's, yeah, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> because you're talking about Canadian oh, players. Oh, yeah. Have you played with their little pops? Well, I've been out here for, like, uh, I've been out west for a long time. Like, probably since, like, 95, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I went, went to Humber and had some friends here at Humber. Do you, do you know a guy named... Uh, um, Paul Rochester, the drummer. I've oh, heard of him. He's yeah. killing, man. He's a bass player. Yeah. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Yeah, I'm Sean. I'm Ross. Nice to meet you, Ross. Yeah, he's from Edmonton. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I don't know. I actually don't know. I 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 got an extra bike if that's the case. Okay, no, I can just sell it. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, I'm just going to play it. Okay, I just got to find you power. Is he going to help you with that? Yeah, he will. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. So what are you into? What do you like to play? Well, it's not just guitar. Like, I like anything. Like, I thought about playing Body and Soul and maybe Windows by Chick Corea or... Or a moment's notice, whichever. Wow, man. I'm like, <laughs> I got all the lists. I love Windows, man. I love that. Too. Me too. Okay, well, I'll just find out what's going on with the program and.
Sorry, so your name? I'm Sean. Sean. Yeah. Oh, there's a couple of Sean. I was going to say, I've heard there's a couple of us around here. Yeah. yeah. Name Sean. Excellent. All right. Easy to remember. <laughs> This evening, and uh, we have Geronimo is going to play tenor. Uh, Tom is going to play guitar. Did you find the music yeah. And Sean is going to play bass. There will be more, but we're starting with this lineup first. What are we playing? There will never be.
Thank mm-hmm. you.
<laughs> before uh, COVID. Wow. Amazing, amazing. I think we'll try and figure out another tune. We're going to do a Sonny Rollins tune called Doxy.
So you were listening to Geronimo and Sean, and we're just going to, I think there's an, uh, another Sean, maybe, on, on guitar, is coming up. And Rob's going to play.
Kenny, Kenny. Yeah, Sean. Well, no, I want Bruce by himself. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then after maybe we'll see. We'll see. Uh, good micromanaging. I'm trying to make a micromanage. Yeah. Tell him we'll fire him. Remember when you said you were gonna stop talking? Yeah. Do that now. Yeah. That would be a good time. How come that allowed that was working? It was yeah. Works for me. What did you want to play, Kenny?
All right. Um, it's been a while since I've had so many <laughs> jammers to sit in, but now you're going to hear from Mr. Bruce Hearn on trumpet.
sure. I remember. Would you want to do that one or? Yes. Yeah. I want to do that one. <laughs> I'm just going to change it around. <laughs> you don't want to do the alternate table? Sure. You give me a hard time. Jeez. Yeah, no. Seriously. There are alternate tables. I know. Do you want to do this one or the other one? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to close it out with uh, Bruce. And um, he's going to perform, I Will Remember April. And I would like to thank you for hanging in there for the jam part. Thank you very much.
Bruce Hearn. Yeah. So it was a treat. I'd like to thank all the guys that sat in. Wow, it was just like, uh, as I said, like the old days. <laughs> and I've been here for a few of those old days. So anyway, thanks so much again for coming down to Herman's. And I hope you enjoyed the evening. Um, we do have a date in May. Um, what is our date, Megan? Twenty uh, something? Maybe I don't have a date. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, I do. You could check the check the website. Yeah, I'm sure. But thank you. Seventeenth uh, of May. All right. And yeah, and um, so thank you, uh, the Shans and Tom and Geronimo and oh, no, he's Sean. Who are Kenny. Oh, Kenny, Kenny. Yeah, sorry, Kenny. <laughs> thanks. Yeah. Anyway, thanks again, and on behalf of the trio, thank you, and good night. Hope to see you in May. Thank you so much.